We've all made these mistakes, right? Buying high, selling low, entering the market at the wrong time just to get wrecked, maybe even taking profit at the wrong time or just not knowing what cryptocurrencies to buy or how to strategize and navigate in this cryptocurrency market. Well, guess what? You are in luck. In this video, we're going to teach you how to take $1,000 and turn it into a $100,000 portfolio in this next bull run. This is going to be a bull run market guide. Welcome back to Crypto Cashflow. If this is your first time here with us, welcome to the family. On this channel, we teach you how to build wealth, power, and freedom in cryptocurrency so that way you can take more control over your time, your money, and live life how you want to and on your terms. So with no further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into this thing. It's going to be juicy. We're going to break down the mentality the coins that you should be buying, how to navigate, how to strategize, and how we literally became wealthy in cryptocurrency and how you can too. So let's go ahead and turn this screen on over. So guys, this is the first thing that you usually see, right? Whether you're entering the market, we all remember this right here, right? If, you, if you're advanced and you've been in this market for some time, this is nothing new. But if you're a newbie or beginner, this can be confusing, when you hear about cryptocurrency, the first thing that you probably hear about is like Bitcoin or Dogecoin or Shiba, some of the meme coins um, that people are talking about. But you don't really hear about some of the utility tokens like XRPs or the Solanas or the Chainlinks or the Polygons, the Polkadots, right? You have to be a little bit into the cryptocurrency market. So the first question that you have to ask yourself is what should you be buying? Should you be buying Bitcoin? Should you be buying altcoins? To answer that question, we're going to have to go over to this well mentality powerpoint slide so when we first started out in 2017 we don't have it here on this slide but we actually yes we do we have it right here so we were dollar cost averaging in the xrp when the market was going down because we knew the upside potential and what xrp had been before these were the times that we had to remain disciplined so this was our story on my xrp story we dollar cost average 5k to absolute destruction so what we did was we bought down here we bought down here and we were we were great at buying down here at that bottom that was a perfect buy we rode it all the way up to the top and then what we told ourselves is that we're going to hold now the reason that we were holding is because we didn't understand what bear markets were we didn't understand what bull cycles were we just wanted to make money right we're just jumping into this cryptocurrency market and that's where most people find themselves they just jump into the market without knowing where we are currently in the cryptocurrency market at this time we were in a bullish market so at that time people i was basically exit liquidity for everybody if, if you want to put it that way right so i held this thing me and my brother and we wrote it all the way down i think we had about fifty thousand or so like in our portfolios maybe a hundred thousand or so collectively and we watched that thing absolutely collapse because if you look at this cryptocurrency chart right cryptocurrency is a little tricky it doesn't go just straight down in one straight line what it does is it fakes you out it goes up, as you can see, and it came back down. It went back up in price, so that gave us a little hopium, right? I'm saying, okay, it's going to go right back up to here. You know, I'm going to be able to actually capitalize on that profit. So I waited. We waited. We watched that thing go all the way back down. So we had a little bit more faith. We waited. We didn't sell. It came back up. It gave us a little bit more hope, right? But as you can see on this chart right here, what is it doing? It's continuously making lower lows. What are lower lows? Lower lows are lows... I mean, lower prices than what it did before. So we can see on this hump right here, we had a higher price, came down, came back up, but it closed lower, right? Came back down, ranged for a little bit, came back up, gave us a little bit more hope, but it was lower. And it just continued that path on down. So how do we resolve this? What we need to do is we need to shift over to this mindset right here. We need to have a well mentality. We shifted our mindset to find lower cap cryptocurrencies that we could get a bag of coins for higher returns and less investment. And this changed the game for us. Now, just before we jump into that, I want to come over here to um, Gala's chart. And I want to look at this one day right here. And we're going to come back to this in just a moment. But this is what most people look at. As a matter of fact, if I were to refresh this page right now, Coin market cap puts us on the one day for this chart. Now, the average investor, you come over here, you see this, you're going to say this is absolute doggy ish, right? You're looking at this chart, you're like, it's just going down. Why would I buy this? Why in the world would I buy this cryptocurrency when it's just going down in value? Well, we have to look at the bigger picture, right? We have to look at the bigger picture. Sometimes the market goes down before it goes up. We have to zoom out and look at the bigger picture when the market is down because where it can go, I mean, 
where the market is down and see where it can go versus where we are right now in this cycle. Most people sell their positions out of fear at this point, right? We're looking at this chart right now. Most people would sell right here because the market is going down. There's bad news coming out. They're fudding crypto. They're saying it's a scam. They're saying this. They're saying that. So it causes fear. It causes doubt. It causes uncertainty. But the mentality that you need to have is not being fudded out by that kind of stuff. What you need to do is click this one button. It only takes you one click away from realizing profits. Click on the all-time high chart. And now what do you see? Totally different perspective, right? You see the bigger picture. You see where we are, but you also see where we can go. Totally different perspective, right? If you come over here to this one day chart again, it's just like this. And the analogy that I like to use, and this may be a good one and maybe not me a good one, but I imagine a lady on the side of the street, right? She has her purse. She's just chilling. And you see a guy just running full speed at her, just dashing. What do you think in your head? Two things. One, he's about to hurt this girl. Something's about to happen, right? <laughs> or two, she's about to get robbed for her purse. But then, a different perspective. You look up, and you see a, pa a piano coming down. Now what do you see? You don't see somebody about to get hurt by this person. You don't see them about to get robbed. You see them trying to rescue them from danger. So that may be a good or maybe not be a good example. But I'm, what the point is, is that everything is perspective and sometimes we just have to look at different data points and look at things in a different way in order to form the bigger picture if you're getting value from this so far y'all put it in the comments below what do you let me let me know is this valuable is this valuable information so let's go over to the all-time chart so we see where we are right now in this cycle right we see right now we are in a bear market if you don't know bear markets are for accumulating cryptocurrency okay even if we were let's say that we're in a bear market right here at shoot let's say that we were at a bear market at 13 cents right let's say that you dollar cost average right there and let's say that the price went all the way down here to like two cents or whatever the case may be actually where was i just now well let's just say that you were at dollar cost average at five cents and let's say the price went down to two cents psychologically you're gonna think damn i just put like a thousand dollars in or however much i just put in there and it just went to zero but did it really go to zero when you look at this chart right here? Did it really go to zero? The smart investor would be thinking to themselves, well, it's just on more of a discount. I can buy more. And when you buy more, you actually increase your dollar cost average. I mean, you decrease um, your exposure that you just dollar cost average at five cents because as the price is going up. It's going to make up for any losses that you have had. But even if you dollar cost average at five cents, right, the price is still 84 cents. I mean, it went up to, it's not showing it on here, but Gala actually went to 84 cents. So it's showing us the potential of what we could actually capitalize on. Now let's get into how we're actually going to turn that thousand dollars into a hundred thousand dollar portfolio. Okay. Now these numbers are a little different on the screen. Ignore them. Obviously prices are higher, right? When we did this presentation for our um, coaching students and that's right, you get an exclusive right here. This was for our coaching students, right? But look at this right here. So we focus on buying lower cap coins when accumulating because they typically have higher returns when the higher cap coins than the higher cap coins. Let me tell you when you should have been buying Bitcoin. This is when you should have been buying Bitcoin. When this guy was talking about a long time ago, 10 years ago, when Bitcoin was sitting at cents and dollars, he was telling everybody to buy Bitcoin. Now, I wasn't around during that time. I didn't have the information to know how to even navigate that space at the time. If I would have, I would have been filthy rich off of these bitty coins. You feel me? But what I'm saying is that Bitcoin, if you have $1,000 right now and you're putting it into Bitcoin, yeah, you're going to make some money, right? We, we even said it right here. For example, one Bitcoin is $16,000, right? This is obviously a bigger example, right? We're, we're, we're going with bigger numbers. But if you spent 16 k on a Bitcoin, just work with us here, right? Just think of this as 1K. If you had 16K on a Bitcoin and it goes back to the all-time high that it did last time, and I'm sure it's going to blow past that, that would be a $49,000 profit. Now, are you going to be mad at $49,000? Probably not. I can think of a lot of things I can do with $49,000, right? But how else can we utilize that 16K or in this instance, in this video, a hundred or a thousand dollars, right? And a thousand dollars is hypothetical. This is for all budgets, 500, 200. A thousand, two thousand, five thousand—it all applies. It's universal. 
Whereas if you spent that same $16,000 on Gala at its all-time high, that would be $688,000. I'm going to say that again. That's $688,000. My bad. I forgot $800. We're going to need that. So that's a $471,000 unrealized profit if you had bought Bitcoin. Now, like I said, you're not going to be mad at $49,000 profit, right? That's more than what people are making working jobs 365 days a week, putting 40 hours of work in. But $688,000, that buys you so many years and so many options to do whatever you want. Now that takes us to the next thing here. When we're on CoinMarketCap, what do we need to be looking at? Most people talk about Bitcoin. No. Most people talk about Ethereum. No, we don't want that. The people that bought this, we're getting rich off of this, we're at low valuations. If you have a ton of money and you want to put money in here, go for it. You're going to make money. I believe that Bitcoin's going to go to 100K plus. I believe that Ethereum is going to be anywhere from like 7K to probably 10K plus. You're going to make money, right? But when you come over here to this sector, and we're going to talk about gaming in just a moment because this is what we're most focused on, right? And just to bring that into perspective, why we're focused on that so much. I'm just going to bring this article up here that the Metaverse, Citibank, if you don't know who Citibank is, they're massive. Go Google them. Metaverse related economies could be worth as much as $13 trillion. $13 trillion, y'all. Gaming is going to bring mass adoption. It says the Metaverse may not be as maybe in its infancy, but it could represent a revenue opportunity of as much as $13 trillion and a major impact on not just tech on key on key tech players, but also cryptocurrencies. I want my piece of that 13 trillion, y'all. People are going to be living in these digital economies and metaverses. And we see it already. Don't think play, Ready Player One. I think that's an exaggerated view of the metaverse, although we're going to have VR and AR uh, realities. But think Facebook. Think TikTok. Think Snapchat. Think uh, Google. Think any of these websites that you use. They are metaverses in their own, right? On Facebook, you don't do the things that you would do on Instagram. On Instagram, you don't do the things that you would do on TikTok. On TikTok, you don't do the things that you would do on Pinterest. They're all different communities, right? And they're all different metaverses. And you go to these places because they have value. And the same thing that's going to happen to this right here with games. All of these different economies have value. Why do they have value? Because they're enabling different things like play to earn. What does that mean? You can earn from these games, with NFTs, what are NFTs? They're just digital assets. That's all you need to think of them as. Just like in Call of Duty or RuneScape or World of Warcraft where you have different swords and guns and skins or even Fortnite where you have skins and things like that. You can use those things in these games to earn money. As a matter of fact, there's people actually in these games getting paid for working in these metaverses. Literally getting paid in cryptocurrency that they can pull out and deposit into their wallet and use it cold hard cash and go out and buy whatever they want that's why we're invested into this stuff y'all because there's value here 13 trillion dollar marketplace to put this into perspective again this is a, a, an example that i got from alex becker but when we look at this market cap right this is just the money that's flowing inside of this market right now there's about 12 billion dollars 12.6 billion dollars in this whole ecosystem of gaming and it goes on and on for pages and pages. Now, all of these games obviously aren't going to succeed, right? There's about five pages of cryptocurrencies that we have here. But if we come over here to Dogecoin, this meme coin that everybody seems to want to buy, every single person that's new or a beginner to cryptocurrency wants this for some reason. And I totally get it. Elon's shielding it. And that's just what people are talking about. Quick, easy money. But this isn't what we want. This isn't what we want to focus on. This one coin is 10.6 billion in market cap. I need y'all to really think about that and really put that into your head right now. This one coin is 10.6 billion in market cap versus this whole ecosystem that is 12.6 billion, right? We're only 2.6 billion off, or, or, or this is 2.6 billion off from catching up to this. So that shows you that we have so much more room to run 13 trillion y'all if you get into the bottom of these opportunities let's tie this in together now if you're buying at these lows and you have all of this money that is flowing into the marketplace 
what naturally happens? Supply and demand. There's less supply because people are buying it up. And there's now more demand as, pe- as, as interest is building up in the cryptocurrency market. Who wins? Come over here. We win. We're going to get that 688000 something dollars because we're going to do this. We're going to wait. We're not going to give up here. We're going to wait. We're going to buy here. Right? Just like we are in the market right now. We're in a bear market. We're going to buy. And we're going to wait for those higher valuations. And then dump on everybody. And then sell our profits. And come out deliciously well. And have a life transformation. And be able to do whatever we want. Because we use cryptocurrency as a vehicle. We saw. We trained. We we understood. This is a bear cycle. This is a bull cycle. We accumulated here. We're selling for profit here. So right now, at the time of this video anyway, as we're watching this, we are in a bear market. Now is the time to be purchasing cryptocurrencies. Now is the time to be researching and digging deep into these ecosystems and finding out who's who and what's what and what you should be buying. Off of the bat, right? IMX, great coin, amazing coin. San, amazing coin. Gala, my number one holding. Marty's number one holding as well. Beam, really good coin. Alluvium, amazing coin. Ape. Uh, it's okay. PYR, amazing coin, right? But it's easy for me to tell you that these are amazing coins. It's another thing for you to go and actually click these coins. I'm going to just show you real quick. We'll probably do a, a video on, on, on research. But just coming on down here, if you come over to CoinMarketCap, it's so easy. You have all the news right here. All the news. Four hours ago, Animoca Mochaverse to feature Ubisoft's NFT game. Layer 2 tokens such and such right all these different things that you can read about this coin what is immutable immutable positions itself as a layer two scaling solution for nfts and ethereum who are the founders of Ethereum? who are the founders of immutable james ferguson a forbes 30 under 30 entrepreneur those are good indicators this guy knows what he's doing he's obviously built businesses before he knows how to market he knows what sales are what makes immutable unique why should we be buying into this right how many coins are there how is it secure? These are questions that you need to be asking yourself. This is how you get wealthy in cryptocurrency, y'all. It's really this simple. You go over to this page, you click, you research, you ask questions, you look at the website, you look at what they're building, you make a decision, you wait. I look at IMX. What did we just talk about? We're looking at this chart, right? Put in the comments below. What did we just talk about? Is this a buy? Should we be buying this right now? Or should we not be buying this right now? What do we do? We come back over here. We have to realize where we are in the marketplace. Most people give up here. We have to go over to the all-time high. Where were we at? We were at $9 at the all-time high. Another thing that we have to understand, we look at this and you're like, well, it just went here and just absolutely crashed. Well, where were we? We were at the end of the bear market cycle. So it didn't really get a full run. It didn't really get a full bull run. So for me, this is an absolute steal. This is an absolute steal, especially for gaming, because a lot of games in the last bull run, and I'm, and I'm going way over this video right now. I'm probably going to end it in just a moment. Give y'all some juice here. Getting motivated. But in the last bull run, gaming was such a huge narrative. It was massive. <clears throat> and a lot of games weren't even built. It was all speculation, more narrative of what could happen. Now we have play tests, we have demos, we have things that are actually out, tangible goods, people that are in these games actually earning cryptocurrency. My mind just explodes as to where this market can go. So listen, y'all, we hope that you got value out of that. That's how you're going to turn a thousand dollars or whatever your budget is into a hundred thousand dollars. If you all got value, y'all make sure you come over here. I'm just going to bring this up real quick. Make sure you come over here and show us some love and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're at 577 subscribers right now. We want to run this up to 10K plus. I'm probably setting the goal even too low. Ideally, we want to see 100,000, even a million people that we want to touch inside of Crypto Cash Flow. But we can only do that with you and your support. So if you would, just be so kind. If you got value and you made it this far, like the video, comment, subscribe. And we can't wait to see you in the next one. It's been a pleasure. And once again, welcome to the Crypto Cash Flow family if you're new here. See you in the next one. Peace.